Hey guys, welcome back to another video of Dash Tech Pro. In today's video, we are going to talk about how you can create a dynamic pivot table in Tableau where the end user can just use a drop down and select the dimensions of column 1 and column 2 and visualize the data. Let's get started. So here as you can see, I've already created this table where you can visualize that there's this column 1 and there's this column 2 and I have this drop down menu where I can just select location and I can bifurcate the location to manager and by which location which manages driving how much orders, discounts, profits, quantity and total sales. So it's easy for the end user just to just bifurcate and then see like by which ship mode which country is performing the best or which uh, ship mode is the most popular for which country. This the end user itself can uh, pivot down, drill down and all do all of those things by just selecting on a drop down menu. So how do you do that? So let's go to the sheet where I created this. I'll quickly walk you through. So I have added these column 1 and column 2 under the data and I have created these two measures. Uh, before creating these two measures I needed to create uh, two list of parameters where I'll just edit the parameter and show you. So list 1 is uh, name as list 1 and date type is string with uh, list as the allowable values and all of the list as in the all of the selection that you, you want the user to select. Okay. So these are the list of values that the user will get as a drop down from the parameter that we are creating, right? And under this, we will uh, now just click on OK and I've replicated by just click on duplicate and then renamed it as dimension list 2. So I have the same list duplicated two times and then I have uh, two measures here. One measure is like case when dimension list 1 is this selection, then pull in this uh, field, right? And when this selection is there, pull in this field. When this selection is there, pull in this field. There is a caveat to this. Like if you want to also have date dimensions, you need to convert that to string. So all the uh, fields that you're pulling in need to be in the same data type. So either convert everything to date, but you can't convert product name to date, right? So you can convert a date to a string. So uh, I'm using the function called string here to do that. And yeah, one uh, once that is done, just uh, apply close ok duplicate the column uh, 1 and then rename it to column 2 and then edit it and repoint it to dimension list 2 parameter so now that we have these two parameters right uh, you go to the dashboard uh, before that you obviously need to create a table so I have created a table by adding measures measure names into column and column 1 and column 2 so once column 1 and column 2 are there these parameters when I uh, right click and click on show parameter I can see that I have selected these two uh, dimensions. If I select like product, this will bifurcate by product by manager, right? And product by manager, I can see, okay, so these products, but these managers, how many sales are coming? Or rather vice versa, like product manager uh, by region manager by product. So I'll just click on product. And now I can see, okay, so I click on, I click on product. Now I can see, okay. So which of the products are being handled by Chad Maggie and of both those, which of those products are having the highest sales. So sort by that and I can understand that Chad Maggie is having the largest sales in staple envelopes and then easy staple in paper, right? And so that's how you, you create this two columns driven off of two parameter lists, which are pulling in the desired dimensions into these column fields. And uh, this dimension uh, added to the root these two things. Now that it is tied up to the uh, uh, to the parameters, you just go to the dashboard. You uh, let's create a new one in this dash uh, new dashboard rather. And in this dashboard, I just add this is sheet one. And under this sheet one, I just uh, remove everything for now. Delete containers. Everything is deleted. And to fix size or rather automatic, and then I will go to do fix size of this much, and then over here in this fit width, rather, yeah, so it's fit width, right? And now I will uh, also click on this drop down, add the parameters dimension list one which gets added to the uh, left, right, somewhere it will get added, right? And then I'll again click on this visual and drop down list and I'll add another set of dimension list to parameter. 
Now that we have these two parameters, I'll just highlight, I'll click on the gray one, pressing the shift down, hovering it and floating it. And then right click, show title disable, and then resize it to about Yevig, and then uh, place it just over the, so it, no one's gonna notice. But it needs to be custom size, you cannot place it to a automatic. If it's in automatic, the visual will resize and the hovering elements move, won't move by pixel movement of this visual so that that way this placement will not be in line with what you expect it to be right so you need to have it a fixed size or uh, only you can't have a range because then in that range these floating elements don't move only the fixed elements move and resize themselves so that's the uh, drawback but once you have this floating element of dimension list one you need to remember that you need to place the dimension list 1 and under the column 1 where you place that and then uh, dimension list 2 I'll just hover and place it over here right and then I'll just disable the title and resize it a little and move it down uh, yeah now I think it should be good yeah see now I'll just uh, change customer name or rather customer name I wanted to select my customer name manager sales or let's say rather something more understandable segment by location so segment by location I can see that consumer segment has uh, both the US and Canada while corporate and home office is only in the US right that was it about today's video and hope you liked the video if you have any other comments or doubts or questions around this and if you want to plan on using this kind of an approach for like let's say a dynamic uh, bar graph or a bar graph in line chart where you want the users to select their own line chart dimensions and bar graph dimensions you can obviously do that this kind of an approach can be used with any visual if you have two or more dimensions you can pull in by this kind of an approach and save on the time and effort of creating multiple visuals for the clients and let the clients do the, their own effort and uh, research and drill down if they will wish to and if they want such a such an approach in their dashboard so yep that was it about today's video thank you bye, -bye.